You know what? Ow! Things like Alzheimer's and dementia, like... I find them weirdly terrifying. Like, I never thought I'd find anything that scares me more than the concept of death itself in Minecraft. But, like... Ouch! I don't know. The only thing that scares me more than, you know, mm -hmm. the moment my time is up is, yeah. like, loss and forgetting. Like, oh, yeah, I fear, like, I fear forgetting more than I fear Damn being it. forgotten. Ah, because yeah, if you're no. forgot, it's like, if oh. you're forgotten, at least you have the memories, but if you forget, you have nothing. Oh, yeah, no, it, it's scary. Like, watching them pass away, too, is really horrifying. It's, it's great. Not really. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. I get dementia in Minecraft. Mm. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, but you know yeah. it's it's really it, it can be a lot of fun too because like you end up being like a part of their lives for just a snippet in time but it like makes an impact and you like have a big impact on the family and like i i have hilarious stories and i also have haunted stories like the place that i worked at was pretty damn haunted yeah no. i actually I remember, I have a lot of philosophical, like, pseudo-shower thoughts, because I don't even have them in the shower. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I was thinking about... did you think was the most obnoxious fight out of all? Retro Gamer Kevin, that honor goes straight to Armored Armadillo. Why don't you just call him Armadillo? But spelled Armadillo. <laughs> Ugh. What? I... <laughs> maybe. God damn it. But yeah, no, the, um... I remember, like, when I was having one of those, like, philosophy moments in my head, I thought to myself, like, what if dementia and Alzheimer's is just, like, some part of you deep down subconsciously just choosing to forget? And that begs the question, why did it choose that? And I know it's a lot more complicated than that, and that's a weird way to think about it, but that's just the places my mind goes. No, it's it's interesting. I it's can like definitely the, see that. It's like, the deep dark is a path to many thoughts that some consider to be unnatural. Also, just so it's less confusing whenever I say that, Whenever I'm thinking really deeply, like I'm almost lost in it and thinking of darker subjects, I call it being in the deep dark. Because, you know, kind of just makes sense. Did my connection die? No, <laughs> no. I'm listening. I was... Okay. It's like in the silence, I was just like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's like just sitting there talking about deep thoughts when I'm alone, and then everything gets quiet, and it's like, oh shit. <laughs> it's like, am I there now? Um. I think I kind of have this kind of feeling somewhat with, uh. You ever heard of Skinamarink? Mm, is that like a no. creepy pasta? Sounds like it. It's it, it's a horror flick made by um, Kyle Edward Ball, who ran a YouTube channel called Bite Size Nightmares. Def would tell you all about it. Basically, the story is filmed in an old vintage footage, uh, where everything looks grainy, like it was made in the 1970s, but the movie takes place in 1995. Strangely enough. Okay. Anyway, so the story follows is that two kids wake up in the middle of the night. Their parents are missing. And they're completely sealed in the house. Like, exterior doors and windows, they're vanished. They're, like, just covered. They're just walls. And a bunch of unusual shit happens. Like, there's a voice that plays, uh, that just creeps in. Same things like come upstairs and such. It, it, it fucked me up. That's interesting. It reminds me of, I don't know why I thought of this, but it reminds me of this bad film. 
and I want to watch it, like, either with friends or by myself. It's called The Christmas Tree or something like that. Uh-huh. And it came out this Christmas, this past, like, November. Uh-huh. And essentially, it's about... It's so bizarre. I read the synopsis about it just to kind of get an idea. So essentially, it's about this Christmas tree. And uh, so there's this, like, old widow woman that, like, did a magical soul, like, circle. And, like, in the star... Like... An extended Star of David, trying to like resummon her husband and using a Christmas tree as a sacrifice to bring him back. But he ends up possessing the Christmas tree, and they're going to killing people. And I've seen it. This looks so stupid, and it's free on Tubi. I think it's literally called the Christmas tree. Oh my god, I would have to look into this. This sounds hilarious. I got it. Dude, it, it's... Oh, God. It's free on... Yeah, no, it's called The Killing Tree. That's the what it is. Killing Tree? Yes, it is called The Killing Tree. It says, On a Christmas Eve, a widow casts a spell to resurrect her executed husband. However, when the spell goes wrong, the husband is brought back as an evil Christmas tree, and it's hell-bent to get revenge on those who cause him the execution. And it has shit acting. Shit acting. Shit. <laughs> That's Don't old CGI. horror. Isn't that just all old horror flicks? No, this is like B movie. It's like, it's like an '80s horror B movie, but it was made in modern times. I shit you not. Like I, it, it looks so bad. Uh oh. It has like, it has like mid 2010 CGI. Oh god. god like, damn it. Ugh. Oh no. Oh yes, it, it is gloriously bad. That. Stop laughing, mm. son of a bitch. Here, it, it's <sighs> in. It's in the gaming chat. There we go. That's the trailer. <laughs> and oh. and they're in like this. Uh, I swear to God, it looks like the ha the castle of Ouch. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Ouch. Darkest Mile. <laughs> the trailer is cracking up. <laughs> so bad. Oh, hey, is that Mandalorian again? Yep. It's Pepto B. It's Pepto Boba Fett. <sighs> Boba Bismol. You know the sad part about this movie? Pepto what? Fett. Pepto <laughs> Fett. <laughs> Sorry. I threw it. I know you're fine. I threw it in gaming chat, but you can see how this person was trying to be menacing. That's the tree. That's the CGI we get. Also, you can clearly see when it's like literally a tree, like a, a man in a suit. It, it, oh my god, it's so bad. So it's just Siren Head, but a Christmas tree. Yeah, but it's like worse. I, you, I can't explain it. I have to watch it with friends or by myself. I am not. Is it now saddens me to know that this shit existed before Siren Head? But I'm and it uses the Christmas lights to like grab people, not just the arms and the leg. Bye bye, uh. Zero. I'll see you again in the sequel. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the tree can hold a knife. Of course it can. All the as all the horror movie killers need to need to be able to hold at least one sharp weapon. I mean, I I feel so threatened because a tree was coming at me with its twinkly lights and a knife. It's great. Oops. Okay, I am gonna be honest. Weird CGI. Uh, like, even with, especially with the weird CGI, if I saw something that even vaguely resembled that in real space, in tangible real space, I would be scared. 
Like right. not because it like not because it's a good horror creature design, but because that is Siren Head with a Christmas tree on its head with a knife in real space, which would be terrifying. Like I feel like any weird, goofy, gimmicky horror movie villain would be scary to me in real life because they can actually kill you <laughs> if they're real. You know. No, no, one. <laughs> no, he's dead. Yeah, he dead. He comes back in the sequel. Oh, Ow! God. I was about to say, no! It's not freaking... It's not, it's not like they can rebuild him or anything. It's not like they have the technology. <laughs> but Golden, what was he fighting for? I don't know. I love the comments. Oh my god. I'm oh god, I know what you just referenced, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, a Sharknado has a rival. <laughs> <laughs> Sharknado has a rival. Oh my god. Yeah, that's one of the comments. Somebody said under the trailer saying, Oh my god, Sharknado has a rival. Okay, this part's gonna get really annoying. Ow! Oh, you son of a bitch! Cock-sucking motherfucker, dude! That's a tricky one. This asshole! Is this about to be hotter than the fucking boss? I hope not! Fuck Wait, off. this looks tricky as fuck! Hey, you got it. Ah! Oh my- Go, go away! Nobody oh, likes wait. you! Oh. Now I want a video game where there's like a murderous Christmas tree and you get to be the murderous Christmas tree. That sounds funny as shit. I mean, I would love to have a game where I could be this fucking Christmas tree that sprawls out arms and legs, kills people with Christmas tree lights, and gets to wield a knife! Like, whoever made this smoke the best shit, and I want it. Ha! You missed. Really, I, just had a, I just had a really scary thought. What? Are there more horror movies set near Christmas than there are near Halloween? You know, that makes sense. I... Does it? Because, like, you, it's more of the unexpected factor, because you would think Christmas time is all about, like, kindness, like, happiness and family and shit, but, like... Well, I mean, it's a Christian holiday, so I don't associate it with any of those things, but <laughs> that's a joke. If there are any Christians in here, it's a joke. Shut up. It's fine. In Minecraft, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... But I can see, like, I've always find the concept of, like, things that aren't supposed to be scary, but they turn scary, more scary than things that are scary. Oh well. So you're saying it's the juxtaposition? Yeah. You know, just fuck all of you guys. I'm out of here. Like fucking the Winnie, like for example, the Winnie the Pooh thing. In logic, it shouldn't be scary, but like they're turning it in such a horror way, it could be really scary. It, it's that false sense of security because of how kid friendly it's uh, was identified as. Yeah. Why does everyone keep saying Minecraft? It's part of a joke. Uh, it's. Can we explain this? Okay, so the way the in Minecraft joke works is when you say something questionable and follow it up with in Minecraft, it basically means it, it's the same as saying you're not serious. Like when you say I'm going to kill you in Minecraft. Yeah, it's the same. It's like essentially the point of the joke is people should be able to use common sense to tell that we're not being serious when we say we're gonna fucking kill somebody but because the world is the way it is we have to and the fact that it's necessary to say in minecraft it it's literally ah! just it's stupid that anyone would take us seriously so we made a stupid joke out of it <laughs> mm -hmm. i just think it's funny it is it's absolutely it is. hilarious be sure to check your orb menu. Ow! Fuck! In Minecraft. Uh, so basically you mean... It's more of a substitute for sarcasm. It's the it's the equivalent of slash J. 
you know, you have you have the slash SRS and slash J. Like like that. It's God saying you're joking without saying you're joking. Yeah. Oh my god. So for example, I'm you know, I'm gonna drown a sack of puppies in Minecraft. Obviously, nothing in Minecraft is actually alive. So you're not actually drowning anything. Uh, Minecraft Steve isn't alive? No. Oh. And Hero Brian isn't real either. <laughs> Gasp. I gotta fill up the tank at one point. Well, guys, I'm gonna get ready for bed and chill out. Alright. Okay. All right. Thanks for having what a me. motherfucker! Okay, it's been very I fun hanging love out. Love you too, Golden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, have a good night, Giddy. No, just that fucking bat, dude. He just no, knocked I just, in. No, I, I, I played it. I thought it was so funny. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right, night, guys. Night. night. She is fun. Whoa! And then there was three. That's what happens when the hour gets late. Yeah, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Neither do I. I mean, there's a solution to this conundrum. What's Is there? That? Quit. <laughs> <laughs> I need money. And you don't have to go to work. Well, but I mean, I'm paying. But I'm paying for a house. Does having money stop you from needing to go to work? Yeah. No, no, it doesn't, because you still have oh, to... Oh, no. You, you <laughs> fucked it. I had a thing going there, and now it's ruined. <laughs> Listen, my brain wasn't working. I gathered. <laughs> you see, I say, does money stop you from needing to go to work? And then you say, no, it doesn't. And then I say, well, then it's not a solution, is it? <laughs> Man, I will say, I do admit... I, that's like the one thing I miss about Walmart's COVID policy. If you were sick, even if you didn't have COVID, you just got two weeks off of pay. And it was nice. And now the world is having a crisis because employers can't understand the concept of a basic living wage. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, like, Walmart's trying to make their minimum all uh, across the board, like, 15 an hour, but there's some, like, thing they're trying to do. I don't know what it is. Nope. Mine for the taking, bitch. It's like, shock horror. Employers don't feel like in respecting their employees, but are shocked when their employees, you know, don't feel respected. And, you know, start acting like they're not respected. <laughs> It's like, what? These actions that have consequences have consequences for my actions? Fucking... There's like one or two managers that I actually like that are uh, above me. And I told him, I was like, hey man, as soon as you leave or retire, I'm out. <laughs> in a heartbeat. I'm kind of in like, oh wow, that was cool. Uh, good night, Ninja Rip. Viewer, thanks for hanging out. But no, um, apparently at my job, um, there was a manager that we uh, he used to run the store, and the dude was like a bro, like he took the store seriously. But uh, some stuff was going on with him, and he had to retire early. So we have a like we currently have a, a curtain manager. I'm not going to drop his name. He is a dick. We'll call him Billy. Yeah, we'll just call him that. He is the biggest dick. And he's got, like, the tattoos on his arms and such. Like, he looks like he would belong in a Harley Davidson or something. <laughs> the dude was such a prick that he says that, you know, just out of the most piteous mistakes, like, because part of our store involves using, um, what is it, um, walkie-talkies. And he said that mm -hmm. if I'm, like, not responsive, he'll put me in the graveyard shift again. Like, really, uh, dude? There's also that's such a yeah. It's it's a shit thing to do. It's like you can tell someone's only in the job for the control it gives them, yeah. as opposed to actually wanting to contribute anything. Yeah, exactly. 
And I'm just like, seldom will you find something more pathetic than someone who gets a power trip off of being a manager in retail. Mm-hmm. Is like, oh yes, you are. Is like, oh yes, King of Kings right here. Look, get a load of this guy. I get Fuck a it. little Billy. <laughs> it's like, I get it. It's the closest you'll ever get to an actual leadership position, but you don't have to let the power go to your head that much, Billy. Yeah, like if anybody is, <laughs> is like, if anybody is actually named Billy in the chat, we're not referring obviously, to you. Obviously, this is about you. This is about our hypothetical, as of yet unnamed piece of shit that we're obligated to call a vague approximation of a human being known as a manager. <laughs> but if said Billy is in the chat, sucks. Fuck suck. you. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself in Minecraft. Like if, <laughs> like if there is a like if there is a bad person named Billy, fuck you. Don't be a bad person. <laughs> That's just a general rule of thumb. You'd think, but fucking common sense ain't so common anymore. In fact, if, like, I'd petition for Exotic Sense to be named Exotic Sense. I think I just said that twice. I think my brain just fucking... God damn it! I fucked up the flow and now it's ruined again. <laughs> the creative juices like, are just going out the window. Yeah. It's like, what I meant to say was, like, if I thought... Like, if I thought petitions would actually amount to anything, I'd make a petition for Common Sense to be redubbed Exotic Sense. Hope that takes care of him. Damn it. Also, the... I get a big face in the background, but what's this floaty thingy? The center? Nose. Yeah, it's supposed to be a nose. What the fuck? Last time I checked, noses don't float. Well, neither do eyeballs. Oh, wait, no, these are two looking balls. Well, one Is... looking ball. Well, Ow. clearly yeah, this oh. man's... <gasps> this thing's got an old menu, and you're taking away its options. <laughs> oh, Golden, don't take its options away. Fuck, that jerk would have killed it two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel like we finally used it up. Ouch. God damn. Ouch. Shit. <laughs> 